What's up guys, my name is Barry Michael Doyle and in this video we are doing part 4 of building a YouTube search application with React Native. Now this is part of a YouTube series and if you've missed the first video, or the second, or the third, I'll be leaving the link to the previous video, which is video number 3, in the description below. But these videos will all be in a playlist. Now, in our previous video, we managed to split our header component into its own component and put the search bar functionality all into its own components as well. And we link those to our application. So now we have it looking as follows. We have our app header component, which is implemented here, and our search bar component, which is implemented here. And they are each sorted in there. Now, in today's video, we're going to need an API key for our YouTube search engine. So to make the search functionality work, we need to get an API key from YouTube, which is basically just required. It's free, but YouTube just wants to know who's using their videos for what and who's calling their searches from where and all that stuff, basically. It's just for analytical purposes. So what we're going to do is we're going to store it in a constant variable, and we're going to call it API key. Now, by convention, we label this in full caps because that's just how you do your, your constant variables. Because this isn't going to change. The only way this will change is through hard coding. So we don't want to change it in coding later. That's why we call it constants instead of a let variable. Now, to get this API key, we're going to have to visit our handy friend, Google. Right, so here we are at Google. And, uh, well, we need to navigate to a special place in Google called console.developers.google.com. Now, before I go on, I must mention that in order to go further here, you're going to need a Google account. And I'm not going to make a whole tutorial on how to get a Google account. It's pretty straightforward. Um, if you have Gmail, you've already got a Google account. It's just your, your Gmail account, really. Now, what you want to do is make sure you go to the API section of Google. So you have this whole products and services up here. Go to APIs and services, and you can get to the dashboard, and that should be fine. Now, what you're going to want to do is go to library. And there's a whole bunch of APIs here, uh, but we want the YouTube one specifically. So just to make things easy, I'll search for YouTube instead of going right down there to where it was. And what we need specifically for this search capabilities is we're going to need the YouTube data API V3. So make sure you've got that, just click on it. And I've currently already got it enabled, so it gives me the option to disable it, which I can do. But um, yeah, actually, why not? Let me just do it. I'll disable it. So you'll see now, okay, it's taking us time to disable, but in your case, you'll see this enable button. So what you want to do is enable it. And it just takes a little while just to get it enabled. It's just standard things. And... Uh, what we need to do now is we need to actually go get our API key. And in order to get that, we go down to credentials over here. And I've already got my API keys made here. But what you want to do is click create credentials. And we want to say API key. And it's created its API key. And here we go. We have your API key is this. There's actually a copy button here, so I don't even have to highlight it all. So that's copied it. And you can restrict this key later for making sure you, other people can't use it in production and stuff, but we don't have to worry about that. So we've created our key, and now we have copied it. So we can close this, and we can head back over to our application. And we can just simply paste our API key in here. Now, you'll see in the future videos that this is going to be heavily required for... Um, doing the API calls on the YouTube's uh, API. So you can't search for videos if you don't have this API key, it just won't work. And obviously, don't steal mine. I'm not gonna put this in the description below because you need to get your own API key. Because this, like, you just saw me disable my last one, so this might not even work, you know, in like two videos time or something. So get your own API key, that way you are guaranteed that this will actually work. Anyway, guys. Thank you for checking out this video, and I look forward to carry on this great tutorial. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like and subscribe and tell your friends. And also, as usual, leave comments. They really help me out a lot. And I will check you guys later. Ciao.